Hello all, Tech Jacks. Uh, this video is a continuation in our EIGRP series of basic configurations and getting to know it. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do now is, is configure uh, manual summarization. Instead of using the auto summarization feature that is on by default, um, in our topography, and if you've seen in any other previous videos, you would know, on Router 2, we turned off auto summary because we were having an issue with uh, black holing that was taking place between Router 3 and Router 1. Um, so, auto summarization is turned off on Router 2. It's still on Router 1 and Router 3 because we haven't had a need to turn it off yet because we're still uh, we're learning the basics. So, we're going to get to that if we need to. However, I do want to go ahead and show how we would... Uh, do a manual um, summarization of uh, routes. Uh, as you can see, all our loopback addresses are being uh, advertised individually. And we can go ahead and we can um, make this uh, routing database a lot smaller if we can go ahead and summarize these routes into one statement. So in order to do that, you have to do that in the interface when it comes to EIGRP for manual summarization. So let's go ahead and I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. I'm going to go config T, interface fast Ethernet 01. And that's this interface right here. So the summarization is going to take place on the actual interface. So what we're going to do is go ahead and, and type out our summary. And IP summary address, we can do EIGRP2. Um, so we're going to do summarization for the ERGRP uh, Autonomous System 2 on this interface. And what we're going to do here is um, we're going to make um, a statement about our subnet and our subnet mask um, and what we want to summarize. So that's going to be 10.0.0.0 and that's going to cover our 10 uh, class subnet. And we're going to use the subnet mask that's going to be able to encompass all these uh, these 10 other subnets and it's going from 0 to 10 so we can use a subnet mask that uh, will give us 16 different subnets and that's going to be 240 so 255.255.240.0 .255 and this will cover us between um, 10.0.0 and 10.0.16 or 15 uh, so let's go ahead and hit enter <coughs> And since we changed the mechanisms about how our routing um, configurations are being sent out, uh, it has to do a graceful restart in terms of the adjacency. You're going to see that there. On this router, uh, when you create a IP, uh, a manual IP address um, summarization, it's going to create that connection. Um, here 10.0.0.0 slash 20 that's a notation and it created as a summary address to null zero so on router 2 if we do a show IP route we'll see now that we have a summary route for those previous loopback addresses we can ping those addresses and still get a return 10.0, let's do like ping 10.0.7.1. Uh, or ping 10.0.0.0. 10 now, we wouldn't uh, obviously get any return if we did like 11.1 because there is no actual subnet uh, that has that IP address. And when you do the auto summarization, it doesn't uh, actually accomplish that. But uh, on router 1, What we'll see here is, is that we're learning about the loopback addresses the way we were learning about them before uh, because we're learning about those on fast Ethernet 00. So the summarization is taking place on fast Ethernet 01 and it's going to router 2. However, you can see that via serial interface 00 that the 10.0.0.0 slash 20, the, the, the IP, the summary address, the manual summary address is being learned via router 1 via the serial interface. So it's showing up here. And we still have the more specific routes showing up in our database via Fast Ethernet 02. So again, depending on what you're going to need to do, uh, you can summarize it um, on both 
uh, interfaces or if you only had one interface that was going to be able to connect you know it's totally up to your design but that's how you would do a manual configuration of EIGRP you would go to the interface do IP summary address and then you would go ahead and make sure you configure the EIGRP and your autonomous system number and then put in your your network and sub and uh, uh, mass statement so that it encompasses the routes that you want to uh, summarize and you're good to go um, so this has been Tech Jacks. Um, see you soon.